morning, tracking rain through the overnight hours. I'm sure Brooks pretty happy to be indoors here to begin the day. Over the last 24 hours, parts of the region have seen more than three inches of rain, especially in the parts of southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. Anywhere you see here on this map that's in the yellow color, that's rain more than two inches. And then you start seeing uh, the oranges start to show up through parts of Williamson County there in Jackson County, Saline County. That's more than three inches. And I know some of these totals are accurate because we've got a rain gauge outside of the studio here and uh, we're at more than three and a quarter inches through the overnight hours. So two different streaks, one through Pinckneyville, Decoin, back over near Ina, north side of Wren Lake is also into uh, Hamilton County, closer to Dahlgren, just to the north side there of McLeansboro, and then to the south, right along Route 13, Murfreesboro, Carbondale, over towards Carterville, Heron, Marion, and then eastward, Crab Orchard, Harrisburg, and Shawneetown. Many of these areas picking up more than three inches of rain over the last 24 hours. So lots of wet weather. We are starting to see some of the heaviest rain now start to shift to the south, but a live view in the Perryville Airport there and even though the rain has started to come to an end there, well, we've still got a lot of clouds around and of course a lot of water standing around. So flooding a concern here through the morning hours. If you are heading out today, make sure you're using some caution in some of those common low lying areas that oftentimes do flood. They are dealing with a lot of water in some of those areas this morning. Another round of rain moves in tonight, six round through Saturday morning. Then we see some dry time Saturday afternoons through Saturday night ahead of yet another storm system Sunday night into Monday. That brings us more wet weather into our forecast. So here through the overnight hours, a lot of the rain has been sitting right out across southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. That's now starting to shift to the south and east. Uh, especially south of the Ohio River now, some of the heaviest rainfall into western Kentucky. So from Princeton, Kentucky, back over near Benton there and Marshall County, seeing some heavier rain push through. Also into Ballard and Carlisle County, seeing a couple heavier showers. One of those just to the south there of Highway 60 between La Center and Paducah. And a few more showers also into parts of southeast Missouri, uh, just south of I-57. South of Charleston, over towards East Prairie in the G-Bottoms area, seeing some rain continuing to fall and more showers back into southwest Missouri. But we're going to gradually start to see see the rain shift to the south and west back in the Ozarks and right along the Tennessee Kentucky line uh, by midday starting to see some dry time uh, across much of southern Illinois. But here comes the next wave coming up late this afternoon and through the evening. It sticks around through a good part of the overnight tonight and even into early Saturday morning. Notice though a lot of this heavy rain is focused southeast Missouri, western Kentucky, not as much heavy rain into southern Illinois. So that's actually some good news there. Uh, maybe relieve some of the flooding, but your precision forecast this afternoon, lots of upper 50s, a little cooler than maybe the last few days. But uh, as we look forward to tonight into Saturday morning, we're not done with the flood threat yet. Flash flooding threat medium right now expected across southeast Missouri, western Kentucky and possibly far southwest Illinois. So more rain in the forecast that flood watch that went into effect yesterday afternoon runs until Saturday evening. So again, we are not out of the woods yet uh, with some of the flooding. Here's another storm system one right now back in the desert southwest that's got the that front stalled just to our south. One of the reasons we've been seeing the rain through the overnight hours. Another big storm system moving on the west coast. That's the one expected around here later on this weekend. It's a big storm system going to make its way through the plains and uh, that rain spreads back in here Sunday night into Monday morning. The good news is right now it looks like uh, the severe weather threat generally is to our south maybe an isolated stronger storm into the Missouri Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee. Of course, something we'll be tracking here as we set uh, get set to move into the weekend. So about a 60% chance for showers, mainly this evening. Now uh, sticking around through Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, some dry time will spring forward. We'll lose that hour of sleep Saturday night into Sunday morning and more showers scattered about on Sunday. Better chances for rain than Sunday night into Monday, cooling back a few degrees. Tuesday, a dry day, but more wet weather uh, into the forecast there Wednesday and Thursday and another cool down towards the end of next week. Highs dipping back into the lower 50s.